And happy... I should have opened the camera. Oh, look at that. We missed it. Don't die, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I didn't quite get everything set up before hitting the feed, but whatever, that happens. All right, we're off to the races. We're going to try and build a uh, our own little election tracker. I just want to see if we can do something here. Because um, what I want to see is... Vote remaining estimated. Can we figure out how many votes, like at what point we cross the threshold of Pennsylvania or whatever the state is becoming flipping to a specific candidate? Um, So let's look. So this website is open source. This is somebody's, yeah, scraping off the New York Times data. Um, Saturday, November 7th. Okay, so this is three minutes ago. So here's the data. Let me see the change. Let me see the raw data. Latest data. It's on master. How do I see? How do I see the data? I want to see the URL right today from. Why did that pop up? There we go. Latest data results.json here. Do it this way. This could work. View raw. All right. So there's our data. <laughs> Hi, get web, bitch. Uh, really, all we need is the data itself, right? So, pi import requests. JSON data equals the URL. Response, we're gonna get the JSON data. Uh, might as well pull the URL. Ah, come here. I should just copy all of this. I don't need to do most of it. Yeah, if we get 200, we don't need to worry about a directory. We don't need to make a directory. Uh, so we're gonna import JSON with status code 200. I'm gonna spell import right up here. How about that? We'll start with that. Then import code or status code 200 we want to get response content and we're gonna load that into JSON, oh, JSON URL is what that is. JSON URL. JSON URL. JSON data equals JSON load string of response content. Does that get us? whole bunch of JSON. Look at that. Somebody's done all the work. Oh, all right. I don't have a Twitter API set up. Oh, it'd be so cool to like just throw this out at my Twitter. Um, were these just battleground states? That what it is? Alaska, Arizona, Georgia. I like the site. It's a good little site. Um... All right, let's look at the structure of the data. Actually, I do kind of want to save that as a file. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. Directory path, don't need the directory path. Temp file, don't really need a temp file. We're just gonna straight throw this right out.
Place on file. Results.json. As output file, we're going to do JSON dump string that to output file. Oops. Output file. Uh, that should get it. And oh, takes one positional, but two are given. Oh, dump. There we go. Is that going to work? I don't think that's going to work. I think I got to make it JSON first. JSON data loads. So we got to load it. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll find out. That could work. Right leg object is required, not a string. Uh, decode UTF eight. Run it. Oh, come on. Right binary. A byte like object was carved on a string. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. so. I don't know how to do that. Let's do it this way. Does that work? Finished. Election results. Results JSON. Zoop. Let's see if it works. Uh, there's a bunch of JSON. Let's go take a look at that. Uh, Scratchpad is where? Toolkit. Scratchpad. Election results. Results JSON. This will throw it to a better. JSON interpreter, or is there all that noise, but we can make it look like, go, uh oh, there it goes, sneeze, maybe, maybe not, oh god, races, Okay, so race slug. I'm guessing there are 50 of these. Live updates. What's in live updates? ID. Oh, these are text live updates. Oh, interesting. There's text stuff too. Ah, interesting. Cool. But I'm guessing these are, so there's a K, a L, a R, a Z. All right. So we've got all the data there. Um, it's in data races. So close that, close that, close that. So we've got the data. So for race in JSON data, data races, print race, which should just dump out a whole bunch of stuff for us, right? There it goes. All right, so we've got the race objects. This file's been changed on the system. Uh, no. It's fine. Actually, close that. Uh-oh. Close. No. Make this an example file that way we're not overwriting it. I've got it in memory, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, I was just doing it the one time to drop it here so I could see what the format looks like. Okay, so we've got the race. Now we can pull one of them out. So if we 
if race state ID equals look at Pennsylvania print race and so we should just get one invalid syntax it's because we need another equal there try that there we go so we got one let's see what this actually looks like so I'm gonna see can I copy this from here We can make a new file and just look at this because that would be helpful. Great. Time series. That sounds like something we'd like to see. Vote shares. Uh oh, nothing in there. Votes. Timestamp. Hmm. All right. Where's all the? Counties, candidates, candidate, Trump, votes. Okay, so that's the votes. Uh, let's do this. Let's set up states to watch equals a list. Right now we're just gonna put Pennsylvania in there. For state in states, states to watch. If state ID equals state, we should call it state code. Just to be a little more whatever. State codes to watch. I'm going to put that back down here. There we go. So we should still just see the one. Looks pretty hot. All right, let's look at the data a little bit. Race ID, race slug, URL, state page URL. I wonder what their stuff looks like. It looks like an advertisement. Oh, all kinds of craziness. Oh yeah, see they've got, they're going to be way better than me. Of course, it's the New York Times, and they've got people on it who've been working on it for a while. But, like... Total reported, total votes. See, I just want to see if I can make a number and have a number counting down. I don't want to look at their stuff. Um, presidential, president. Alaska, state shape, horizontal. Okay. State ask risk ratio is one. Okay, that's for all the uh, graphic visualization stuff. Lost seat. Ooh, absentee counts. Interesting. Provisional ballots outstanding, none. Reporting display, reporting value. Guessing that's total expected vote. That's a very high number compared to. Oh, it's Arkansas, and I'm looking at. No, wait. Okay, is that Alaska? It's Alaska. Fifty-six. Yeah, 56% has been going. Estimated votes remaining. All right, so let's just bump through some stuff and see what we get. So we want to see...
Total expected votes. I'm guessing is what that is. Yeah, 56 reporting and there's 300,000 something and yeah, all those numbers probably add up. So what you would need to do, right, is so we're in the state code, um, race, whoops, let's see if we can just hit this. I think it's just at the top, right? Race, race at eight, yeah. So this should hit however many expected votes there are. Cool. Let's actually validate that. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So we want to do state ID equals PA. Go. Not found because I'm in the wrong file. Try again. Too many different find commands. Find. There you go. So let's actually select this one and copy it out. Oops. Paste. Bad idea. Copy, new, JSON, select, go, bang. Total EXP is what it was, right? Oh, no. Tote expected. Yeah, there, okay, so there's the one, two, three, seven million votes. It's a very zeroed number. All right, so that's the 96% reporting. That's funny because the the Google one currently has 98% reporting. So that's the AP feed, and I'm using the New York Times feed. Yeah, this is, that's why I want to hit this one. Because, or Georgia, too. Oh, look at how close those are. Wow, 4,000 votes. Uh, the cool news is this will be the same either way. So, okay. We need to find the candidates. C A N D I D D I D A D. That's how you spell candidate, right? Whatever, candidate IDs. Oh, that was weird. Here, candidate key. That's easier. Uh, I like ID. ID is the thing. So there's that one. And there's this one. Don't know where the numbers are coming from, but whatever. All right, so there's the total expected counts. So for Canada ID and Canada IDs, print. So that's gonna be the ID. Oh, we got to loop through them. Never mind. Okay, so for candidate in race candidates, print candidate. That looks right. And then, oh, how do you do, how would you do that? Um, if candidate 
Canada ID is in Canada IDs. Then print. Does that work? Even though it's in a list? Mm, looks like it lurked, worked. Biden Trump. There you go. Okay, so there's that. Do you want to put, oh, what am I doing over here? Uh, where am I going? Come here. You, you, that's what I want. I just want to put that up on the other monitor. So if it, if they call it while I'm here, it, All right, so we've got the, we're in the candidates. So I'm assuming this is total votes. Vote margin change. Provide leads with 3 million. Okay, I'm looking at an old file. Uh, so let's open this one. Okay, let's close this one. Close it. And we're open the live one. Oh, well, I guess I could just print it out on my side and see if the number matches. Uh, so candidate. So that's our main one. Here's PA. So candidate votes. Candidate ID votes format candidate candidate ID oops candidate ID votes was that gonna get us there you go Three three two seven. Is that matching what they have here? Three three two seven. Yep, one five one. Okay, yeah. So that's total votes, or in the feed they think it's total votes. Okay, so there's the numbers. Now the trick is there. So they're saving it off because they are getting progress, right? So he, they've got this number. So let's just start with that. Okay, so. Candidate data equals, we're gonna make an array. Or a uh, dict, sorry. And we're going to put each candidate with their own thing. Because all I want to do is populate here and then we'll print stuff later. We'll have the stuff to mess around with. So we're going to populate here. Candidate data for candidate candidate ID. votes equals this is gross candidate which is the json object votes with 
to open. Yeah, so down here. Somewhere down here. Somewhere down here. Let's see what that does. There we go. Okay, so now we can populate some objects here or some dictionaries, whatever. Might as well make this a little easier. Name. How do you spell Biden? B-I-D-E-N. Name. Trump. So that should show up now. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh, so we need to do a state. State, 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 state. States. It's probably a simpler way to do this. Like I'm just recreating the data. Yeah, I don't really need to do this, do I? Well, I need to pull it out is the trick to do the comparison because it's in lists. Yeah, I need to do this because it's in lists. So I need to move it into like keys and values. Okay, for race. So that's the state code. This is ugly. It's kind of funny. It's just uh, for candidate and candidates. So we've got it at a candidate level. Candidate, candidate ID. I got to make this something else. We call this CD candidate data. call this C. Not great names, but I need to be able to see what's going on. And there's better ways to do this, but so candidate data candidate candidate ID. Let's pull, just pull this out so we can actually use it. So that's in the race. What is this? Something's wrong. Oh, okay, there we go. Is this still working? Or I break everything already. Okay, so that's still working. So let's call this CID. This is not the way to do this at all. This is just super quick and dirty. Still got it. So candidate data for candidate ID votes equals candidate votes. Is that still working? Got it. But this is in a specific state. So if the state ID is in there for each candidate, we need to go to the candidate data for the candidate states equals and states, right? Yeah, states equals ID which is race state ID. Let's see if that actually works. Nope. 
Where did we blow up? Canada States. Candidate details, United States. How'd that work? Uh, so candidate data, CID. Uh, hey Jobs, I'm using the New York Times unofficial API. So it's this page right here that links over to, uh, well, it's in my file here. Hang on a second. To this JSON. So it's, uh, it's unofficial data from the New York Times, or I think it's somebody just pulling New York Times data is what it is, um, and reassembling it. This is ridiculous. Like, there's way better stuff that's out there. I just want to see if I can see one that's just showing some differences. Uh, also, why can't I get that to work? Okay, so candidate data for candidate ID. Oh, 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 I want to do that here. Uh, I see what's going on. So I want to put states. And then we've got the specific state ID here. Let's see if that makes us get there. Yeah, there we go. And so now I can put the votes. So let's do for race state ID for state code and state. State code. So really all we need here is state code. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then we want to put all this stuff in front of votes and drop votes there so we're getting votes per state. There we go. Biden states, PA, total votes. Cool. Um, what are the other states that we care about? Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania are the ones that are still hot. GA and NV, I think, right, Nevada? And I'm guessing NC for North Carolina. I should know all these. There we go. Okay, so there's the vote counts for each state. Uh, so what do I actually want to do with this data now that I got it? I just want to see the diffs, basically. Um, for state code in, what did I call these? State codes to watch. Uh, just make sure we're actually here, right? Print state code. Oh, I guess really what I should do is fire that up the other way. I want the states to be the top level. That's okay, we can fix that. So candidate data here, let's just do CDX, we're just gonna make a new CD and just leave it sit. So candidate data. State, state code, CID. State, state code, CID votes. So for each state code, we should get a new line with each one of our, nope. We blew it up. Oh, I didn't define states up here. I could do all the stuff at the top level, but I always like having 
the option of putting another level or another thing as a sibling up at the top level. Keyword error PA. What's going on? For I broke it. Uh, here. Logging. For race state ID, which is state. Okay, so let's. Here's the state codes. State code, state code. Let's make sure those are showing up. There's state code PA, cool. Candidate ID, CID, Let's see if that's working. It is for one of them. So C, CIDs and candidates, candidate IDs. All right, so we got those. Candidate states. That should have worked. Oh, 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 I see what's happening. I gotta make the lists in general. So we need to do this first, or the decks, sorry, whatever. Um. State, state code, we gotta set that up and then, but we need to set that up so we don't blow it away every time. Like that, try that. There we go. All right, so we're gonna add our things back in here. GA, NC, uh, NV. Hmm, that's cool. Uh, so for those, then what we wanna do is I want to put another level here. States, state code. Candidates. Whoops, that's not right at all, is it? Candidates is that because I need another level here. That did not work well at all. What's going on? Did it work? No. Ugly, ugly, ugly. States, state code equals candidates, which is its own list. Did I spell that differently? I feel like I spelled that differently. Let's try that. Oops. Try that again. There's our data, okay. Because now what we can do is in here, we got a little room to play with. Candidate data, states, state code, diff equals we need to do up here um this is so ugly candidates and then we'll just do biden votes this is a very very long thing 
Trump votes. And if we print everything out, we should see a diff column in here or a diff value. There we go. Okay, now what do we want to do? Uh, we want to get the total estimated votes. Estimated? Estimated? So, oxygen, votes, candidates. Uncontested. False. Where did I see... Okay, total expected votes. So EXP votes, we'll just use the same term that they did. Oh, which we have to pull from the data. So we can do this at the state level. So we're in the race and I think that's here. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that shows up. It do. Yeah, this is this is actually exactly what I'm after. I want to see these numbers. Um So does it show us total cast? Okay, so it doesn't. So this is the number that I want to get to. Total cast equals that plus that. So remaining remaining is Total cast, no, is total expected votes minus total cast. I'm sure somebody out there already has the thing that I'm building right now, but I wanted to see if I could do it. And apparently they haven't won yet. Nobody's won yet. Total expected votes. Minus total cast. Here, we're going to call it total expected. Like we know that they're votes. Total expected. Actually, this is going to be total cast. Remaining. Yeah, so diff. I'm not gonna make that enough string because it's a long thing. Remaining. Oh, I really wish I had the Twitter API hooked up. Oh, I can just keep posting this. 
Uh, so diff remaining. I guess we should put the state in there too. State. What does this get us? I think this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I wanna clear this. We don't need this right now. Where'd that other print statement go? Right there. I love it when somebody else has done all the data cleaning and assembly. Oh, you know what? I should make this so you can see it if you're on a smaller screen. Sorry about that. Well, that's not bad. Why isn't it running? There we go. All right, now how would you put I'm just looking at formatting stuff right now, real quick. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so what you could do is How would you do if so? Um, initial equals T for Trump, actually, B for Biden, because we'll do it's, I can do this math easier. If the diff is less than zero. Initial equals Trump. And then we need to diff. And I can't remember what the math term is when you flip the sign. Um, and how do you do it? I can't remember what the math is. Like, there's something. Give those integers, write Python program the reverse the sign of each element given. Convert, return, negative i for i and list. But what I want to do is, oh, what's the name of the thing? Oh, well, you can just do this. I can just do this. So if, so. Different equals diff. If it's less than zero, different equals different times negative one. And then we want to output different because I want to see, you know. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Different equals. Oh, because put this here too. Whoops, I wrote it. I don't know why, but it feels like that should be first. Because it's first up here. Do 
they go. <laughs> Maybe I'll hook up the see if I can hook up the Twitter API real quick. Um, it's a if I remember right, it's kind of a pain to hook up, so I doubt I'll make that happen that fast. But um, like this is the way that I want to see the numbers. They show all the big numbers, and you have to like do math. It's like how how far are they, and how much is remaining. Because if this number becomes greater than that number, it's impossible to win. Right? Python add commas to numbers. Dot two of total cost is nuts for percent comma dot two. That's clearly the homework. I'm not that have a problem with that. Format value, comma D. Or another way. Okay, so. If I just put that in format, does that work? That would be cool. Oh, look at you, Python. Is there a time code in these files? I mean, I could just pull, pull time. No. Last updated. 11.759. Race ID. Oh seven oh fifty nine say uh okay so whatever we can do this Is that going to go away? So let me see how this looks on Twitter. So actually, hang on. Uh, this is cool. That's what I wanted right there. All 
All right, so how would you do the math? How would you do the math to say how much each candidate needs? Okay, so... And I want to do this with open, with response, with open JSON, right? Results JSON content. Whatever, I'll just keep hitting it because otherwise I forget. I was going to make it not um, hit the API every time because it takes a couple of extra seconds to go. Um, so, where's Solver? Solver, you open? So there's that many left. He's up by that many. All right, so how do I get your head around which one you need to do? Um, okay, wait, so out of that many left, divide by two, no, 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 no. How, what's the math to figure out how many each one of them needs? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, subtract this is how many Trump would need to catch up just to make it even. And so out of that number, the 345, 96, or 698, that's where you get the remaining that they would fight over. So if we divide that by two, okay, so I think I'm doing this right. Hang on a second. I gotta figure out how to do it for the candidates, right? So I, this, that's the number. So if you subtract that, that makes them even. Divide by two. So this number plus one is what Biden would need. Trump needs that number plus his deficit. Plus one. And what should happen is that plus that. Oops. Plus that should equal this. Okay. I think that checks out. And how do we do that in a way that makes sense up here? Um, So 
active states. Here's the total. Where do we get the actual candidate stuff, right? Biden needs... So I'm just going to do his first because he's ahead in Pennsylvania and I can do that math slightly easier. So he needs the remaining... Remaining... Divided by two plus one. Is that right? Hang on a second. No, you've got to subtract the deficit from both of them. Remaining total. So remaining minus diff. need to get these to where I can see them a little bit better. Remaining diff. So Biden needs remaining minus diff or divided by diff. Remaining minus diff. divided by two plus one. And Trump, I'm just going to put at uh, some other value real quick. Just to, I want to see both slots pulled out. Does this still work? It does not. Here, Trump. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, why did that happen? Oh, I'm not printing my... I need to dump it. If state and state code do all that stuff. What are we doing? State code for states and state code. I think this is what I want. Okay, candidates Biden votes needs. Okay, I'm just going to hard code this for Pennsylvania right now. Wait a minute, so... Divide it by two to get the half. Okay, yeah, yeah, so that's the... So same thing. So divide by two Da, da, da. gets us this number, which is here, plus the diff, because you got to catch up, 
plus one. Okay, so here's what we should be able to do. So he's got that many and he needs this many. And Trump has this many and needs this many. These numbers huh, should be equal. Okay. And then that 3,500. Yeah, and then that is half of uh, whatever. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Times two equals the total vote count. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. So then all we do is, I'm just gonna hard code that. And then if it's negative, it means Trump's got it. So we should be able to just reverse these IDs. Since we're in the if it's negative thing. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. I wanna see it again. This is cool. I love this. This is my favorite. So state code, the initial difference per integer remaining. Biden needs Trump needs. Uh, and we can slam those to ints. yet <laughs> so that should make them integers
All right, all right, all right. Cool. This is cool. I like this. How many characters is that? Might be able to pull this off. So PA. Slash N work here. Oh, what is that? That was weird. numbers are not right. Oh, they're in the wrong place. I was like, ah, I thought my math was better than that. That's what I want to see right there. Something's wrong with this math, though. Plus 4,000. North Carolina trumps up. These are wrong, somehow. Remaining... Diff. Oh, diff int. I gotta do diff int. Actually, I'm just gonna put it straight in there. Carolina. Oh, come on. <sighs> Remaining. Why is that not working? <sighs> so close. All right. I think this is right, though, right? 164, so that plus that, yeah, equals that. Okay, I think that's, I think this is good math. Why isn't this one working though? So we set both of these. Oh, wait, is it possible that I shouldn't have flipped these? That doesn't make sense. It's this negative number getting in there. Uh, 
remaining 200,000. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's dump all this stuff again. So we can see what's happening. Oh, so close. I was so ready to have this go. Right here. Have we won yet? North Carolina. Okay. Diff remaining. Diff int. So it should be remaining minus diff int. Remaining minus. The difference integer, 134, right? And then we divide that by 2. And so we get 67 plus that. Wait, remaining. That's how many he needs. No. Divided by two. Plus one. That's how many one of them needs. And the other one is that plus the diff plus one. Where'd we go wrong? Somehow we got, we got the 67,183, but we went sideways over here. What did we do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's two diffs. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, we have found it. Did we find it? Now they're backwards again, because we flipped them as a test. All right, so just to test these, make a new one. So this minus this, am I doing this wrong? I'm doing this wrong. So there's remaining minus the diff divided by two is the total they need to split and he needs one of those, and he needs that plus the diff plus one, right? Just to get them all in there. Six five fifty, six eighty. Cool. Okay, so that one works. So the ones where Biden's in front should 
be working. So let's try the one where Trump is in front. So remaining minus lead divided by two equals this number plus one should be that. Okay, cool. And then we take this plus the diff plus one and we get that. Okay, that's working, that's working. Whatever we're gonna do. Now I'm just working on formatting. Uh, where is this just respond ah where'd they go Notifications. Ooh. 
Whoa. I still like it. That's the numbers. That's the way I want to see the numbers. We gotta find the feed again. There it is. Uh, let's just run on another set of numbers. See what happens. It's not going to fit, I'll bet. So I gotta reformat. Uh, needs B. There's no way I can make this fit. I don't know where else to trim.
There's a remaining total. Oops. No, there's not. Where is there? I just realized I'm not counting all the candidates. I'm not counting all the votes going down. Can we fix that? So, all right, what do we need? We need total cast states. Or C in candidates, candidate ID, but we're in the candidates, so candidates total expected, total cast equals zero. For C in there. Total cast plus equals C votes. Right, because that's what we're doing down here, right? Total cast, okay, these are different numbers. Okay, cool. So now I just have to replace state, stitch code, total cast, remaining. Total expected, oh wait, I called it total cast there again too. Total cast 
total. Remaining total cast total. Total cast. Total cast total. Okay, that should be it. Uh, might have been simple. That feels a little too simple. I think that's right. all this oh those are stories and stuff for let me see yes oh it's gotta get all that again it's okay though we can format it
Where is it? I just saw plus 15. Maybe it's plus 15 without a space. Leader margin display R plus 15. Leader margin display R plus 15. Oh, okay. So they're doing. This is the question. I probably should have looked closer and harder at these because I just saw votes. See, this is a much more fine grained. Is this doing county by county? Wait a minute. No. What the hell? Are these county by county? Because that would be cool. Boolean things that happened? Counties. So that was the first one. That's cool. So that's the old one. See, if we run one. What happens? Whoops. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Slow down. Anything change? Nothing changed. All right. So now, <laughs> do we want to try and make another one? Uh, sure. Why not? Here. Let's give it that. Get rid of those for now. Get rid of those for now. Get rid of this for now. Why is all this stuff? Whatever. Actually, I just throw it all in there since there's so much of it. This is my scratch pad, so it's just kind of all over the place. JSON, import requests. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so let's go see if we can actually pull the county stuff now. Yes, but we actually want to go over here so we can get one that's not going to change on us. Is this full one? Uh, here, let's open this one. Format, please. Definitely bug in here. Oh, I guess I could put this where you'd see it. Counties, 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 counties. Okay. Many a county. Turnout stage two. Votes 4,215. Votes expected. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, I'm going to steal a couple of these things, but I'm going to code the rest for real. The other one's already saving the file, so that's fine. Um, if you've got it, data equals JSON. Those string response that content. I think this works, even though decode UTF eight is how that should work. Print data we there. Yep. Big batch of stuff. Okay, so races in the races. So we can grab this again. Uh Codes equals that. We're going to use shorter words this time. For race in data races. In. If race state ID is in codes, print state ID or print race state ID. Races data. Oh, this is kind of gross. JSON data. JSON data, data, races. Oops, don't do that. Name data is not defined. Where? Oh, here. So there's our states. Hmm, okay, so then what we need to do Oh, okay, 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 this is cool. So if we've got the votes votes expected. Yeah, this is gonna be better. Okay, cool. State ID equals state ID. 
I just want to get these so we're not stacking all the way through them. Actually, this is going to be the state, right? If race state ID is in codes. Oh, we're in the race. We're in the race. We're in the race. We're in the race. So if we're in, if we're in there, state ID equals race state ID. Definitely a bug on my leg. Nope, that's a wire from my headphones. So we've got our state ID. For county in race counties. Counties? Print county. See if that's hot. So this is the state level. For county and counties. Uh, so candidate data, we're gonna do that again. States. Canot data states state ID. Is a list. And then we've got total votes expected. Votes expected, zero votes counted. Zero. Votes Biden. Votes Trump. So we're in the counties. For the county and counties. Wants it up there. So we're in a county. Total votes or votes expected. Here it's uh votes expected. Counted, expected, Biden, Trump. Now, does this pass by?
reference or by value? Hopefully it's by reference. Votes. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Expected plus equals county total expected votes. That look that goes off. Print candidate data. I don't want to print all that. Where where else am I printing stuff? Print county. Don't want to print county. There you go. This is a much faster way to do this, I think. Expected. Counted. So. Didn't it have votes? Yeah. So I can do votes. So five, 4,000 something. Three. Four, one forty. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Counted equals votes. Oops. Counted. Expected. Counted. And then Biden. Trump. And those are goes into result volts, votes, results, Biden J. I'm guessing Trump D. Oh, int is not. Uh, what's going on? Votes. Oh, we don't need votes there. Just results. I gotcha. Gotcha. I gotcha. 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 Try that. There you go. Counted. Expected. Okay. So now we can do the same math. Pull this back out. Votes diff. Raw is Votes Trump minus votes Biden. Oh, so that's at the county level. So we've processed all the counties. We should put that there. Wait, why aren't that working? Oh, because this isn't here. We've already got votes pulled. We don't need to pull that again. Diff raw. Yeah. All right, so let's start printing some stuff. For state in... We should do these alphabetically. If we have G, N, C, 
and V PA. Here's the ID and codes. We're going to want to go to print CD states state ID. What's I gotta do? Go sweet. state ID. Okay. So votes diff positive. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, so if vote stiff raw is less than zero, votes leader equals guessing Biden else votes leader equals Trump uh that's weird One of those should have been backwards. Right? <laughs> that didn't flip. Come on. Uh, why isn't that working? This is all our integers, right? Yeah, because it's doing the addition. For state and state ID, so this is still in the state race state votes votes diff. Why is this different? Votes diff raw negative negative positive negative. Oh, there's leader T. Why is that? Uh. Oh, maybe I'm not recalling it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did it jump all that stuff down? That was weird. Oh, I don't like it when it does that. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So we're in a state ID. Now I need to do this. Let's see if that doesn't help. There we go. But wait a minute, I thought... Oh, okay. 
by North Carolina. Okay, okay, yeah, I got the, I guessed right. So diff positive equal just equals diff raw. There, there's a way, I can't remember what the thing is, but there's a way that you can do uh, plus positive. Let's add it. Plus negative. Okay, so let's flip these. Which means we're gonna have to flip all this stuff. Wait, why didn't that go? Uh, whatever, hang on, these are all gonna flip. Wait, why is it still negative? Diff positive. So Trump, okay, wait, wait, hang on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Diff raw. Trump vote minus Biden votes. Oh, okay. So right now it's doing this. I did it backwards last time. Or I did it invertedly best last time. So there's the difference. And then we can do this magic, which is colon and that. Expected counted, so votes remaining equals expected minus counted. And then we do our math. And how, what's the, I'm just gonna put the math straight in here and not even mess with it. So if, if Biden's leading, uh, wait. Oh yeah, he can do this. That's right. Votes. Biden needs what? Oops, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. So total outstanding. So remaining. We're gonna make this a method. Whatever. Def. Leader needs. Remaining. T 
total lead. Right, so remaining lead or total lead. Yeah, all you need is the total in the lead. No, remaining in the lead. No, remaining the total in the lead. Out of the remaining. Yeah, they just have to win by one vote. So, okay, yeah, so just the remaining and the lead. Biden needs, we're just gonna do this for a second. X. Trump needs X. Cause we just wanna have these showing up in our output. Actually, kind of cool. That'll work. That'll work. Back this off for a second. Roll that. <sighs> Try that. I thought I took that away. Oh, whoops. Nope. Took the wrong thing away. There we go. Try that. So Trump, so leader is Biden. So Biden is going to get leader needs. Nope. Leader needs remaining. That's remaining. Lead equals diff positive. Why is that all? Leader need doesn't return anything. Oh, okay, that's fine. Turn one, just to start with. Okay, so the leader math is remaining remaining minus lead divided by two plus one And making an integer. So 
of that. Plus that, which is really a plus. And we take this divided by two. Wait a minute, why is that all boogered? Oh, 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 oh. So this minus his lead. Divided by two. 25091. Okay, yeah. So that's it. Trailer needs remaining in lead. Make sure we're passing the data right. So now we do this math, which is Remaining minus lead divided by two plus lead plus one. Do those two numbers add up? I actually don't know that. Seventy-nine, seventeen, seventy-nine, sixty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So that the it's. Yeah. So effectively, there you could consider them at zero. Or like those. That's the total number of votes left, right? Yeah, so really the total... I was just trying to think about different ways to think about it. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is solid, maybe? Um, I hope this is solid. Seems right. I'm a little tired. Should never hurt anybody. Uh, and then we can actually put these in here. I just want to play with other ways to format this. I guess I could just copy and paste. So print.
Actually, do those just combine if you do that? I think they do, don't they? Nope. Oh, you'd have to do... Leader. I'm gonna do this a little bit at a time. Where'd my roommate? Oh, okay. Leader, leader. So I like that format. There's no way it's going to fit on Twitter, though. Where are the initial... I like this format a lot. See, this is this is what I want as like just a quick information. Oh, it'd be so cool if this stuff would could be Georgia remaining. Oh, yeah, I got it flipped around there, didn't I? Mm, 
crap. Remaining votes kind of expected. Okay, so Georgia remaining. Wait, why is that? I don't think it sense. Crap. I don't even want to deal with that. Because somewhere in Georgia. Somewhere in Georgia. Oh. Uh, yeah, so let's pull the other one. Let's see what it says. didn't flip 4395 I think is what that said for Georgia that's close 4395 okay so that math all works out Georgia numbers are off. Their expected numbers are low. So. If remaining is negative, is what we want to do. Less than zero. Pass. So this will skip Georgia for right now. Else, print them. So Georgia should move away. And then here, we're just going to do remaining question mark leads, Biden needs question mark, Trump needs question mark. Remaining. Leads.
Did they declare it? Trump cards for ballot counting scenario where votes legally cast by military would be thrown out. That sounds bad. Wait a minute. That didn't switch. I didn't switch. Did I run it? Oh, I gotcha. Oh, come on. Did we make it? Hey, there we go. Capital is better, especially when we spell them right. But we can get rid of this and that. We take out the colons, what does that look like? It looks like nothing because we did on the wrong one. Yeah, let's get rid of those, let's save some characters. stuff there uh okay so we can add this back in now too where's our via via Let's see if that fits oh 
Oh, come on. What the hell? Oh, because I printed it every time. Don't do that. That's bad. Just print it the once. That's all we need. Five. Yeah, I had to take out the colon. But we can, uh, well, no, because as soon as Georgia, if Georgia has numbers come back, then it's not going to fit. See, that's that's the thing that I'd like to see, right? Is how many are left, how many are to go. And then it'd be even cooler is if you have the percentage up here. So how do we do the percentage? Percentage. One number is of another. Earning option of one number versus another number is easy. Percentage calculator. is what percentage of that result. Okay, so these two numbers should add up. Calculate, not a number, because you don't know how to deal with commas. 31%, 32%. And now if we put this number in, sixty eight, thirty two, sixty eight, six, seventy nine. Yeah, okay, cool. Great, show me how to actually do the math. Uh, If you know percent A is a B, then you simply divide A and B, then take the number. Okay, learn how to calculate the percentage of one number versus another is easy. If you know what the percentage, what percent A is of B, yeah, that's your percentage. So use a calculator and two numbers and percentage, click calculate percentage, you may calculate the percentage. Uh, close, show me the actual math. Is it just divide the first number by the second? I could figure this out. I got a calculator. Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Yeah, those add up, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's cool. So I wish there's a way. Is there a way? I wish that total could split. Show a bigger answer. No. 
I guess I just want to do a new worksheet or whatever, but like 100%. So Biden needs, and so you would just do Where am I going? And then you would do votes. Biden needs percentage equals Biden needs divided by and this would actually happen outside the elf else. By diff positive. No, by left positive remaining. That's still compile. So after Biden needs, Biden needs a percent. Let's see what this does. So times 100. And making an integer. Unfortunately, that's not going to fit, oh, which sucks. Wait. Oh, Nevada. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have to split these all out. I'm just playing with formatting. Really hope I'm spelling all this stuff right. I am looking this one up. It's also over here. P-E-N-N. -N. 
S Y L V A N I A, Pennsylvania. I wonder if there's a way, it's like, well, I could drop my source and then fit that. Oops. I like that format, but let's see what else we got. I want to keep that source in there just so the source is in there, which is causing me some tricks. Oh, there's a space there. I can save us one space. That's not bad. <coughs> Put the dot after the, um, yeah, I am. I 
need to fix the Georgia one. Promise if Georgia reports numbers, I'm in trouble. And I can't really put it like if I do a space and a dash, it's the same thing as if I took that off there, so it doesn't matter. fit oh it fits look at that yeah when you take needs 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 out of there four times percentages first. I'm not actually putting in anything for when it actually when somebody wins a state. Oops, didn't think about that. Whatever, I spent a few hours on this. Yeah, see, I like that better. which makes sense because it's late. Mm. 
Aw, where'd it go? Kind of proud of that. Oh, you can do different accounts? Ooh, interesting. It's an interesting number, 31%, not a lot left. Definitely a bug, just kamikaze written in my face. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm really happy with like the little design of it. There's not a whole lot of cruft there. <laughs> you could actually put a... It should put a colon after... I think I've got the space to do that. just to keep the consistent. And then what you could do too, bye. What PyCharm fires still like it does a lot, but every now and then it just fires up a lot. Oh, it's probably more spaces though, is the problem with that. Now it's not gonna fit anymore. I like it with a three. Actually, I probably really like it with a four. Especially in the monospace font, that works great. Just keep going to the same thing. Oh, did it fit? No, it did not. Oh, come on, that would have been awesome. One. Is there a space floating out here somewhere? Nope. <sighs> oh, there's one. Is there one after all, though?
Needs, I think, is gonna do it. That's about as tight as I can think to make it. Of course I could make it an image. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I want to stay up until this thing's decided. And just keep messing with this. Like I don't know much, how much else I'm going to do with this. Eight characters. So, one, that's four. Yeah, I've been like, anything I do there is four characters. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. Cause like I can't. I mean, I could take the commas out, but that's ridiculous. I could take the colons out, but I like the spacing. You need left to identify it. I want the plus to show that you're up. You, I need something there to differentiate. I wonder if they're still counting. Are they counting twenty four seven? Oh, yeah, look at that. That was the old one. I like this one better. Maybe. I don't know. Do I? I kind of like this line first. Well, I guess what I could do is... Here, let's make another one. Of what we would do if we could... If we were just going to do one per. So state ID, we're going to go to state name, state ID.
This is all just design stuff now. It's funny because it's like easier for me to do this in code than to actually like copy and paste and move the stuff around. Oops, backwards. I don't think that's going to work. See if this was if it was a monospaced font, it would be awesome. So... That's 
HP icons messed up. String leader name leads. Is that gonna work? There we go. Do some formatting that way. Yeah. This is close to what I had a while ago, I think. No way this fits. I like the look of it. I do like the look of it. haven't changed in a while. Hopefully I'm pulling the right stuff. Last update at 12.04. President. Where I see president. Oh, he's at 253. That's interesting. It's a different number that I've seen. Yeah, it's funny. So AP is reporting Pennsylvania at 99%. With Biden having... 3,337,069, so a few hundred more. And Trump having 3,308,054, so that's within a very small margin. 
So those numbers are really close. But they're saying 99% reporting, whereas they're saying 96% reporting. Yeah, I could complete a few more days to count there. Oh, flip. So if it flipped it, it flipped it. It's kind of a weird map. I don't understand that one. Yeah, I like this one. This is cool. However, now that I've flipped this one, oh, this isn't going to fit. One thing. State names. Oh my god. We need to put Well, first of all, that's just not gonna fit. How much does it miss by? Minus 75. Yeah, so we missed by a bit. Same style kind of thing. So we're just going to go back to the state ID. Yeah, because it's more important to have the it's probably gonna break it right there.
That's not bad. So the other thing we can do So you take away the colons. I like the colons there. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm actually using a pretty simple run here. Um, there's a feed that I found, which is this one right here. Let me see if I can show you the original page. Uh, somewhere. So somewhere I found a link over to this page where somebody is basically scraping all the New York Times data and pulling it in and they're actually making this JSON feed, which I just lost. Let me move that there so I can find it. Um, so in that GitHub repository, they're just updating uh, this JSON feed, uh, which has all the New York Times data in it. They're just scraping it. Um, and all I'm doing is I've got a little uh, the script basically just uses uh, Python's response and requests or requests module. I'm just pulling down the JSON as one little object, and then all I'm doing is running through it and pulling stuff out of it. So uh, I start by looking at the individual races. So here's actually, let me get a copy that we can see. Um, so here, this is the JSON file formatted so you can actually figure out what's going on in it. So inside a data, there's a bunch of races and there's one race for each. So I just looked at the data and figured out kind of where stuff is. So there's one race for each state. So I loop through the races and this is at the state level. So I get the state ID. Then I prep some stuff, basically the counting. And then inside each state, there's counties. So I loop through all the counties, and this is where you pull all the data in for the specific vote counts. And then the rest of it's just a little bit of math to add some. So it gives you uh, the, the data that's in the feed is the expected count for a county, the total number of votes that have happened for a county, uh, Biden's total numbers, and Trump's total numbers. And there's other candidates too, but I'm not worried about them. Um, but then all I do is just go through and bounce some math off of it to calculate other numbers, like, uh, the percentage of, uh, votes that they need. Like the number of votes left is the number, the total number counted versus the total number expected, right? So you subtract that and you get the total number left. 
And then from there, you start doing the math to say, okay, if there's this many left and the candidate is this many ahead, how many do they need to actually pull it off? Um, so it's, it's actually really straightforward. And then most of what I've been doing, like all these print statements, this is just me messing around with the printing of it, how I want it to look. Um, the vast majority of it is, is, is super straightforward. And then it's just messing around with all the, uh, all the formatting. Cause I'm trying to post this on Twitter and Twitter, you keep running into issues where the, the size limit hits you. So like this one just barely fits. I've got eight characters left. Um, but like, I'm not using full state names. I'm not using the candidates full names. Um, and Georgia isn't reporting some data right now. If Georgia reported data, this wouldn't fit. Um, so that's where I'm messing around. Uh, I'm doing one more little one here uh, that I want to see if it can fit. I'm just making some slight adjustments. So I want to put the candidates names as the first thing instead of the, n the number left, because that's the more important thing, like who's winning and how much. Um, so that's where I'm formatting right here. Uh, but that's kind of the, the basics, if that makes sense. Uh, and Python's request module is awesome. Um, I've done web pulls with lots of things over a lot of the years, and request is super awesome. Highly recommended. And then let me see where... So, yeah. Um, okay, but you could do the same thing, by the way, in any language, right? Anything that can, can talk across the web. Um, which is basically any computer language, right? Um, so it doesn't doesn't have to be Python specifically, but that happens to be what I'm working in these days. See, this is where... Well, let me actually see how many characters this is. See if this fits. Oops, Georgia. I got to fix Georgia. See, because Georgia isn't reporting right now, I've got it split out. So if the votes remaining is less than zero, because if, if this isn't here, Georgia has like a negative vote count because their expected counts haven't been updated with their actual counts. So the actual counts is over the expected, which made it a negative number. Um, so I just say if it's less than zero, do this other default thing. Um, so I don't have to mess with it. And it's funny because every time I do this, I'm banging against the API, but whatever. Uh, so... Georgia, what was our formatting? Yeah, see, I don't know if I like this. Yeah, so all the um all the data gets updated. So all I'm doing is every time I run the script, it bangs off that JSON file. And then so somebody somewhere is updating it. Though I haven't seen updates in a while, so I'm not sure if the process that's pulling it is broken or if they've actually just stopped doing counting stuff. Um, the Because it hasn't updated. Actually, let me see. Where'd it go? Uh, results JSON. Yeah, so it was last updated two hours ago. Um, oh, 10 minutes ago. So we got a new one. I wonder if any of my votes changed. Uh, this has been 31% for forever. I only know that's because it's the last one. Uh, these other numbers, I can't tell a difference. I think these are all the same. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's all it does is I'm going out and I'm grabbing it from whoever's posting it up there and then I pull it down and I do all the parsing um, or J Python does the parsing right um, but if you're uh, if you're interested in the links this is that'll let you look at it um, and here's the original thing so this this is the one that they've whoever's put this together this is what they're actually doing with it um, I just decided I want to see if I could build my own because I like the one that I want to see so they've got the vote margin, but the one that I really am after is if you've get if you're if you've got an estimated number of votes, like how many votes are left that you need to win, and the it's notoriously tricky to get the like, actual number of votes that are going to be left. So I'm just going off whatever their estimate is. But like here, if if these numbers turn out to be right, there's twenty eight thousand left. Uh, wait a minute, something's really wrong here. Oh no no sorry. Oh I didn't split it. Sorry. 
these these numbers are reversed. There's 79,000 left. If Biden gets 25,000 of those, he's going to win Pennsylvania. If Trump gets 53,000 of them, he'll win Pennsylvania. Um, I definitely need to flip those numbers because that is not right. But it's, it's tough to get all the the data formatted. I like the, I like the challenge of getting it like really kind of locked down and in a, a neat type format. Um, and I've been playing with it for a while, uh, but haven't found the one that I like yet. Yeah. So yeah, and so here this is just the output, right? So I do all the calculations for each one of these lines. So the leader is just um, it just gets set. Uh, basically I, I grab the, whoops, where'd it go? So I get a, a raw difference between Biden's votes and Trump's votes. And then if that number, and I subtract, subtract one from the other, if the number's negative, that means Biden's in the lead. If it's positive, it means Trump's in the lead. So I'm just kind of hard coding all the, the math that like, so if, if Biden's in the lead, I set vote for a leader or the a leader object or a leader key to be and then full name is biden and full name is joe biden so that way i've got the the names to play with um i make the difference positive so i want to like if the number is negative which means biden is in the lead but I want to show how much he's in the lead by. I don't want to show a negative number. So I take the the raw difference, which has the negative in it, and I multiply it times negative one to flip it. Um, so it's a positive number. Uh, and then this does the how many votes each candidate needs to win um, with these two little methods up here, which is just the math. This little math tells you if you give it the remaining, how many votes are remaining and who's how many the leader has, it tells you how many each candidate needs to win. Um, but so those just get put in keys. And then all I do is I just, I loop through the states and then I print, I print out whichever keys I want to have for it. Uh, I didn't do electoral. Um, the, that's really interesting actually. I wonder if that's in here. Um, I bet it is. They call it electoral. There you go. Electoral votes three. Oh, that's a good idea. Here, let's do that. Trick is so there's no way this is gonna fit on Twitter, but like I'm still interested to see it. Um so like all we should need to do is so we're in the race, which is actually a state. I should have called that a state. Um So CD is candidate data. It's just what I named it. So for states and for the state ID votes. And then what we could do is here, electoral, we'll put zero for a second while we go find it. Cause it should be, whoops. I think this is just right at the root of it. Yeah. Electoral votes. So it should be race electoral votes. Uh, and just down here, where's my little object here. So this just prints out all the stuff that's in the state or in the object. So Somewhere in here, hopefully, electoral. There you go, 20, right there. So now we can just drop that straight in our output. Uh, and so each one of these, if you don't know Python that well, like each one of these little squirrely bracket combinations, when you add this dot format at the end of it, those things get replaced by whatever the variables are and they go in order. Um, so the first one is the state ID. Uh, and so what we can do is 
friends, and then we could do our number. Electoral votes. And then so I just need to add it in here. What do we call it? Electoral? Try that. Oh, I still got all the other crap in there. Yeah, so there you go. PA, 20 electoral votes. Um, and yeah, I was actually thinking about making a, a bigger one of these. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, state names. Let's actually give it the full state name. Here, let me get rid of all this other crap. Where'd it go? I lost it. There it is. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm just, so again, my output was going for Twitter. So I was refining stuff down as much as possible. Um, the, if I was going to do this for not Twitter, um, or potentially even for, um, like an independent post on Twitter. So like right now is putting the four key states that are left. Um, so Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania. If I was going to break each one of those out, we could do more data, but I, do, I still don't know if I'd go to the county level um, to start with for this particular thing. Uh, I totally could though, like all the data is in there. Um, and that's where uh, some of these other things, you know, the, so the New York Times site, which is where we're scraping all this data from. Uh, I th think it goes to county level. Yeah, so this is all county level data. Um, so like all the stuff's in there to play with. And like, I'm not gonna beat the New York Times, but I'm still gonna mess around with the data in terms of like their data visualization. They've got like whole departments and stuff that do this. Um, but uh, and but the, but the tools that they use, it's, they're probably using D3, um, which if you're not familiar, is just a, a JavaScript package that does a bunch of visualization stuff. Um, so like all these things are accessible to, to basically anybody, um, cause I think D3 is open source and if they're not using D3 explicitly, D3 can do all the same stuff. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty powerful. Cool. Hey, it's been a pleasure, man. Take it easy. Swing by anytime. Yeah. And I'm going to do one more of these with the full, just to look at it. So 20 electoral votes. I want to put that here. Whoops. And one of these. And then we're going to use full names here. Name full, which is like full, but different. in there uh, here let's switch this around so we're doing label value label value remaining votes And then here's where I get stuck. I 
I don't know what to label this. Or how to make it look right. Needed to win. How about that? Ooh, okay, that's actually not bad. If we do that and kind of mirror it. Hmm. I'm just being ridiculous at this point. Like, how many characters is that all by itself? It's like half of the Twitter thing. Ooh, and it looks ugly on Twitter when it's not monospaced. Yuck. That's gross. I'm about to skirt screwing with this. That monospace font looks way better. I mean, it fits better for what I'm doing. trying to space it out a little bit. Yeah, I don't like this anymore at all. <laughs> what if I actually posted? Yeah, I don't like that one. So JSON. Yeah, this is the last one I did. I think I would have post this. Tough to do formatting like this. Oh, I like it's there.
I think I'm gonna go with that for the last one of the night. I just I like having the the winner should be the first thing. Or the leader, sorry, should be the first thing. And then left, and then what they need. That's the right order. I, this order isn't good. It's not awful, but it's not as good as it could be. It's an interesting exercise to try and get as refined a piece of data as you can in there. Like, there's not a lot of craft. Alright, so let's make one of these go and see what happens. So we're doing that, we're doing that. We're gonna drop electorial for now. We're gonna make the state name, just go back to the state ID. Leader, just the initial. With a colon. Diff positive is that. Doing breakdown, we can go to left, which is remaining, which we want to do here. Oh yeah, this is how we do semicolons, or colons, in there, whatever. Needs. B, T, there's no way I got all this right. Nope, unexpected annotation block, that's weird. Sometimes PyCharm does not paste things right. Oh, come on. Oh, one more, okay. Try that. Ooh, I did get it. Uh, but we went the plus there. All right, let's see what this looks like. This is probably gonna be it. I've been messing with this for forever. Oh, I didn't do the Georgia one. Go ahead and fix it. Actually, let me look at the other ones first. Make sure they don't freak me out with how ugly they are. I'm not angry at this. I'm actually take out that colon right here. Now we're being ridiculous, messing with stuff. Nope, plus is better. A colon. Need something there. Ah, that'll do it. Okay, that's fine. So, state tilde. Leader, diff positive. Let 
New line left is unknown. New line needs new line. Let's see what this looks like. I think that's all the same. Yeah, okay, cool. Screw it. Time to go to bed. Yeah, like, oh, come on. Twenty characters. All right, all right, I'm gonna do it. Whatever, I want this to go. So twenty characters. So there's four. There's eight. Twelve, sixteen. Twenty. Oh, I didn't do it over here too. I need to do this one. Georgia, what do you look like? Oh, I think that's actually it. Okay, Let's see if that fits. Three. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Right there. Should be zero. Zero. Oh, but I'm not doing whatever. It's estimated. Okay, people will get it. That's fine. Cool. Screw it. I'm out. Thanks, folks. Have a good one. Merry election day or whatever it is. I don't know. I got nothing. Have have a good one. We'll see you next time. And uh, take it easy. Be kind.